This is Heather from SpecialNeedsHomeschooling.com and this really is the middle of our homeschooling day. We are the middle. The middle. Um, we're having a good time here. We're about to do a science experiment that is so easy and it's something that so many of you can do. We went down to our garden and we had these really cute Jack B. Little pumpkins, but yeah some groundhog or a rabbit or something chewed into it. Did the same with this one. So instead of throwing these out, we're going to reuse them for a science experiment. Okay. Very easy to show the kids how seeds grow. All right, so I'm gonna be the one using the knife. So the kids are gonna use the knife and what you need are some sort of a gourd. It's got that nice, firm and outer hard. skin. Hard skin, very good, good sounds, good words. Um, we need some potting soil that we're going to be putting in this, and then just some sort of a container, like the dog chewed on this container, cool. so a you nice ratty container. I need you to give me a minute. A ratty container so that I'm not going to be concerned about leaving this for a few weeks all by itself. <clears throat> all right, so. Yes, I did. Oh, wow, I made a horrible mess. <laughs> this is a little messy. That's why we put the newspaper down. What I'm going to do, I don't want to start out with mold, so I'm going to cut it out. Yeah, the mold. The mold is gross. The mold is gross. Bad mold. Yep, the trash. It's even inside. Oh, uh, yes. Actually, this one, we're going to very carefully cut sideways. Now take a look at that. I'm cutting just the tip. All right, notice how I'm using this. I'm, I'm basically cutting a bowl for these seeds. So I'm cutting off that nasty top. That yeah, seed never right. Yeah. So I'm cutting off the nasty top. I'm going to do this with both of the bowls. Meanwhile, my daughter is going to read a very simple um, book about seeds and how they grow. You got to say it nice and loud for us. Okay. Nice. Should I begin now? Yes, please. A seed is a little plant. It is a plant that has not started to grow. Apple trees and daisies, carrots and corn, clover and wheat all grow from seeds. Here is a seed tree. The tree seed. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes it will be a tree like this. Here. Go ahead. It's a flower seed. Scoop it out. Someday it will be a flower like this. Some seeds grow slowly. These are seeds of an oak tree. An oak tree grows very, very slowly. Suppose you planted an oak tree seed. You would be a, far, a father or a mother or even a grandfather or a grandmother and the oak tree would still be growing. Some seeds grow fast. <coughs> this is a bean seed. It grows very fast. It grows so fast, it becomes a bean plant in just a few weeks. You can plant a bean seed, you can plant bean seeds yourself. We use whole beans. You can use whole beans, bean, bush beans, or lima beans. You can plant the seeds in eggshells, or tin cans, or old cups, or little flower pots. Be sure that the containers have holes at the bottom. We use eggshells. We used eggshells. We used a pencil to make holes in the eggshell. We fit it. We filled 12 eggshells with soil like this. We made a hole in the soil with our finger like this. When you have made a hole in the soil, plant a bean seed in it. Plant one seed in each hole. Cover the seed with soil. Sprinkle the soil carefully. With, little, with a little water. Number the shells, write the number one on the first shell, put the number two on the next shell, and keep going until all of the shells are numbered from one to 12. Put all the eggshells in an egg carton. Put the carton in, sunlit, in a sunlit or a windowsill. Some beans grow faster than others. Our seeds begin to grow in three days. Our bean seeds may take a little longer. You won't be able to see your seeds grow growing yet. They start to grow under the soil where you can't see them. 
Water your seeds a little every day. The water soaks into the seeds, the seed begins to grow. More water soaks into the seeds, the seeds grow fat and get fatter and fatter. Wait for three days and then dig up seed number one. It may be soft, it may be fat. Maybe it will look the same as it did before. Soon the seed will grow so fat that its skin will pop off. In two more days, dig up seed number two. Maybe it will look different now. Maybe the skin under this seed will be loose. Now a root starts to grow. The root grows from one side of the bean seed. The root pushes down into the soil, down and down. Dig up seed number three. You can see the root. Does it look like this? If you do not see a root, wait for another day. Then dig up seed number four. After a few more days, dig up seed number five. Something else is like happening. Take a handful and put them in. Little roots will be growing from big, from the big root. They will look like tiny white hairs. They are called root hairs. Day after day, the roots <laughs> and root hairs push down into the soil. Day after day, the bean seeds are pushed up. The soil is pushed aside. Watch your seeds. Soon you will see pale shoots push through the soil. A the shoot seed, is the beginning off. of a green plant. A shoot grows towards the sun. I want you to put three Watch seeds your in seeds. each of these. Some may have come through the ground. Do your best. Some may have broken open. Maybe some of your seeds have not started to grow. How many are growing? Count them. The bean seeds grow fast. When, they, when their shoots turn green, the leaves come next. Now your bean seeds are bean plants. They look like this. How many of your bean seeds are bean plants? A seed needs many things to grow. It needs okay. soil, I think it's enough. and water, <laughs> and the sun. All right, so we're just gonna push these down underneath the soil. So if, all, if a seed has all these things, it will grow into a plant. It will grow into the same kind of plant that it came from. An apple tree or a daisy or carrots or corn, it will grow into a clover or it will grow into a bean plant like the ones you planted. The end. Hey, that was perfect! We just planted the seeds. We put three seeds in each of the little Jackby Little pumpkins of Jackby Littles and the rest we're going to lay out on a paper towel so we'll have more seeds for next year. So that was our experiment and teaching and we're going to follow it. It's, it's really, really dirty. Well, this is day one. We're going to put a little water on it and set it out on the back porch and then we'll be able to follow it. And what is the first thing it's going to do? Um, it's going to start growing. It's going to start it's growing. So big. Do you know what does a seed need to grow? It needs water, water, sun, sun, and soil. Soil. Very good. All right. So we are going to uh, let you know, unless it's a total disaster. Um, how this experiment works out. I hope you enjoy. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. bye.